got it cranked up down in Athens. Oh, there's no question about it. He's uh, also Andy is known as being a great recruiter, as you'll see with his talent out here today. He's always had uh, a, a great quality of uh, great all Americans, and he's had uh, two previous Olympians on his team ready. Rutgers also has uh, got it going. Teresa Grant's five years in a row NCAA tournament. 20 wins last year, 24 in 88, 27 in 1987. Here we go. Tap controlled by Georgia. And the Lady Bulldogs in the road red uniforms moving right to left on your screen, traveling violation. And Rutgers gets it on the first turn. Lynn Uston, Cheryl Kopp in the backcourt for the Lady Knights. And Kopp with the basketball now as she moves it across. 30-second shot clock in women's college basketball. Should mention that right off the top. Oh, definitely. You see Georgia coming out very aggressively in the man-to-man. -man. That's Lady Hartman right there. Oh. This is the layup. The rebound put back up. And stepping out of bounds was Hartman. That's one of the things that Rucker's going to have to be really careful with, Lou, because as you can see, they have their hands in the passing lane. You're going to see Georgia go after the ball. Just underway first half. Rutgers basketball. Cheryl Cox. Moves it across. Knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Vicky Pikett. You that's, saw the quickness of Hardman. That's the second time in a row, and that's what they really have to. You know, Rutgers is going to have to move to the passing lane. They can't make 15-foot passes. They have to work on short, concise passes. Georgia ranks sixth in the nation coming in. Eight and one. There's Camille Lowe in her favorite spot on the right-hand side, and Hartman on the left-hand side. Back out. Top to Adrian Schuler. They go inside, put up, blocked by Hanson, but the foul. Tammy Jenkins took it to the hoop strong. Lou, what we've just seen here is Georgia's basic one full offense. Not a high offense, not a high post offense. They'll post up both number 53, Tammy Jenkins, and they'll post up on the on the, between the block and the first hash mark, number 35, Deborah Carter. And as you can see, they were successful with that pass to Tammy Jenkins. Jenkins at the line. First free throw, way up. So still no score. Jenkins, a 6'4 senior out of Dawson, Georgia. She'll get another. Hits the second. So Georgia takes the lead. 1-0. There's that press. Hits that 2-2-1 press right here. And you can see they're going to come out. It looks like Georgia's going to come out right from the very start and put a lot of pressure on Rutgers. Pikett drives baseline, puts it up. No, off the rim. Rebound, Georgia. Lady Hartman. Lady Hartman's very aggressive right from the start. Ust almost steals from behind. Now Hartman goes cross court. Here is Lowe. Three-pointer. Off the rim, no. Rebound underneath. Put up. No. Rebound knocked around. They are battling. And it's blocked oh, by nice Johnson. Block. Yeah, nice block by the time. Here comes a three on two, put up by Kopp, no good. Rebound knocked around, and the Bulldogs the other way. They've got the numbers. It's another two on one, put up, no. Sloppy play by both teams early. Well, I tell you what, on that last play there, if I was Kopp, I would have probably brought that ball outside. Pike to Johnson, nice play. What Ruckus has to be careful with now, they want to, they get aggressive, they want to start to run with. Uh, uh, with Georgia, but they have to be careful. I would bring out the ball and work for a better shot, not to win and lose that opportunity to uh, put some points on the basket. Pop loses in Georgia the other way after Carter hit the hoop earlier. Three to two. Georgia on top. See, they're posting up in the 1 4, and uh, both uh, number 30, Andrew Schiller, or uh, number 14, Camille Lowe, could play, play that point position right there. Here's Schuler moving on cop. Jumper off the rim. No. Rebound Hanson. That's good defense by uh, Rutgers. And cop will bring it up left wing. To the top of the key. Us traveling is the call. When us. Everybody needs just to settle down a little bit right now. I guess everybody came out really uh, pumping and run the ball. But this is where Rutgers really has to be careful. Luke. Rutgers cannot run full steam with Georgia and keep up with them throughout the whole entire game. That's real very important. Well, Rutgers, their fourth turnover, and we're only two and a half minutes into the game. This is something they didn't do the other night, and this is where they have to eliminate. They, they can't make these turnovers so early in the game. Jenkins. Three-second violation. The 
like Deborah Carter was camped out in the lane. Yeah. Hey, right now we have uh, Stacy Ford coming in for uh, Tammy Jenkins, who's also the senior uh, from Georgia, real solid, good ball player. And that's where he has flexibility of bringing in either Stacy Ford, Carter, or Jenkins, three equally good ball players. With Tanya Johnson up high, throws it away. Last touched by the Lady Bulldogs, trying to get it into Pike it inside. Yeah, you know what, what, what Cheryl Cop needs to do at this point is just settle the team down and work the ball around and get it in, you know, to either Pike or to, of course, Hanson or Tanya Johnson inside. But here's us, moves in the lane, lays it up. No, Johnson rebound. Yes. <laughs> Spun off the rim and in. This one knocked away. Hanson, it's a fast break for the Lady Knights. Quickly, Hanson has it knocked away. Pike it saves. Drives baseline, finds us open, traveling. See, us is over anxious on that point, Lou. Uh, she, they want to win. They, they're, she needs just to pick up that ball first and then go to the next play. But she was ready to, to drive before she picked it up. So an interesting. Uh, Shout out Teresa Grinch. She said, slow it down. Take it easy. Both teams a little reckless in yeah. the early going. Here's Ford. Has it blocked by Johnson. Quickly, the outlet pass from us. Pike it, takes it to the hoop and scores. See, Lou, this is what they did the other night. This is a very controlled fast break. Very nicely done. You know, Pike it didn't rush it. She saw the lane. She went right in and shot. Blocked by Johnson. Nice dish inside. Beautiful play. Stacy Ford lays it in. I tell you what, Lou, Johnson's on fire, isn't she? I mean, she's doing a good job in that post area defending. She has been dominant. Underneath, 6-5. Rutgers in the lead. They break the press easily. Pike it to Cop. Left wing. Go inside. Johnson, one dribble up. No. Falls off the rim. Quickly up ahead. Here's Lady Hardman. Moves in on Kopp and lays it up. No, gets her own rebound, scores, and draws the foul. You know, on that, uh, on these plays right here, what's, what, what's happening is that, you know, Rutgers constantly wants to run with with Georgia, and they really have to hold it up and really have to work for a better yeah, shot. Yeah. On this one, you know, Cheryl Kopp got back and pushed uh, Pike had gotten a bad position right over there. But they can't afford to have Pike in that kind of uh, and a foul like that so early in the game. There's only you know, 15 minutes to go in the uh, first half. Or Vicky, her first. And that's the second Rutgers team foul. And Lady Hardman is at the line. She'll try to complete a three-point play. And she does not get the roll. Back tap to Cop. 7-6. Georgia up by one. 15-20 remaining first half. Inside Hanson, turn around, no. Rebound, us tapped it away, but Georgia comes the other way, but thrown out of bounds. Latanya Tanya Hanson down low, Lou, was just really aggressive on that last that last play. Uh, uh, didn't get a good shot off, but uh, she keeps on working that hard in the post. You know, we'll see her score some points tonight. Us inbounds to Cop. Cheryl will set it up. Georgia's still in their man-to-man -man right now. Inside to the cutting win us. Now she tries to throw it back. Gets it back somehow and scores. So aggressive play. I'll tell you what, she, she's a hustler. She's been hustling the past couple of games. Uh, that was a great effort by her. But what a move by Hardman. Doesn't go. See the Mitchelson in the game now gets the rebound. And quickly. With Rutgers. Cedar in that game now, Lou, it's gonna give it's gonna give Rutgers an opportunity to run a lot better. Here is us. Forces it up off the front of the rim, doesn't go. Georgia all alone is Hardman. Now Hanson gets back, but Hardman scores. This is what Rutgers wants to prevent. They want to prevent that, that easy outlet pass and fast breakdown. Because I don't think physically Rutgers can keep up with the pressure and the endurance that, uh, that Georgia can uh, put on. Mitchelson off of Hanson's outstretched hand. Hardman quickly inside, knocked away, foul on Mitchelson. And a substitution going out is Deborah Carter. And there's a timeout on the floor. 14.05 remaining. 
First half, Georgia 9, Rutgers 8. Rutgers is great. Just ask anybody. It's exciting. I love it here. Oh, the campus is beautiful. I think it's outstanding. The education you get here is exceptional. The faculty is great. A Rutgers degree is definitely going to mean a lot once I graduate. I really like Rutgers. I'm having a great time here. It's the best experience I've ever had. Your factor of production, whose price we're very familiar with. I would definitely recommend Rutgers to anybody who wants a good education. Why would you want to go anywhere else? I would give Rutgers University the highest recommendation I can think of. Seen some wild basketball in the first five minutes of the game. Georgia leading by one, nine to eight. The score is probably not indicative of the kind of action that we've had. No, absolutely not. The thing that concerns me about Rutgers' position right now, though, Lou, is that they have three fouls on them and it's only 14 left in the first half. They can't get themselves in foul trouble because they don't have the depth uh, to go down and keep up the Rutgers later on in the game. All right, Vicki Jones is in for Georgia now. She inbounds underneath her own basket. And the Lady Bulldogs will set it up. Here's Jones, jumper is blocked by Hanson, but underneath is Hardman, lightning quick and scores. Oh, she definitely is. She's, uh, you know, if Camille Lowe doesn't light it up today, it's gonna be Lady Hartman to light it up. Two on one for Rutgers, cop to Mitchelson, oh. lays it home. Good pass, I mean, this is a good control pass break. This is what they want, and this is what they need. 11-10, Georgia by one. 13 and a half remaining first half. See, Georgia's going to run that low baseline play where you see Vicky Jones coming down the left-hand side. They'll run that post. They'll keep the two posts inside, and they'll run the offside wing baseline. And then when the girl gets the ball, she'll take a shot, or she'll pump it into the post. Those are some of the things that you want to key on. We had a kick ball, so Georgia will inbound side court. Vicky Jones will throw it in. Vicky Jones is another lightning quick player from Georgia. Here's Hardman. She's been active so far in this first half. Schuler finds a wide open Jenkins, puts it up and in. And this is where this is where Ruckers could find a problem. They they're balanced all over. You, you'll, you'll see someone like Tammy Jenkins at 6'4 come outside and shoot that outside shot. Rutgers breaks the press beautifully into Mitchelson, but she cannot connect. Georgia the other way. Inside, turnaround by Ford, no, and Pikett pulls it down. Quickly to Cop. See, this is where Cop needs to hold it up, Lou. She can't, she doesn't want to force in, her team is not down there. Pikett's still in the backcourt trying to get down, you know? So this is what they've done in the past. You can't go, you can't go two against, two against four against Georgia. You gotta wait till your teammates are down there. All right, cop to Ust. Vicky Pikett at the foul line, drives to the hoop, plays it up. No offensive foul. Basket does not count. That was a good move by Vicky. Unfortunately, she didn't stay in her position on that one, but that was a really good move. For Vicky Pikett, her second foul. The crowd here does not like it. Rutgers has 14 fouls, Georgia none so I know. far. That's, that could be a, a factor in uh, Georgia's favor. Wide open, Lady Hartman drives, big line and scores. Eight points for Hartman. I tell you what, you know she could do that all day long. She likes that. She likes that one dribble drive, two dribble drive. Pike it saves it. Lindos wide open for three. Rutgers needed that. And Rutgers does not get back on defense, though, as Tammy Jenkins scores. But you see what I mean, Lou? They, they got to get back. They can't. They, 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 their transition from.
from offense to defense is going to be a big factor in, in the remaining part of this game. Georgia the other way. Schuler. Uh, well, that was one of the more comical walks that she'll see. No doubt about that one, Tammy Jenkins. <laughs> Teresa didn't mind that, though. I tell you right now. Linus will throw it in. 17-13, your score, Georgia by four. Championship game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. One of the premier tournaments in the nation, stolen by Schuler. Put up, no, Cop gets it back. Great effort by Cop to come back. Well, what is Coach Grintz furious about? She is letting the referee here in the near pool. I think she thought that might have been a foul on that play right there. But I tell you what, Cop has to be careful a little because Andrea Schuler, number 30, is very, very quick. The whole Georgia team has quick hands, period. Which was evident in the beginning of the game when they, when Lady Hartman stole a few balls. Schuler that time all over, Cop. Here is Cop to us, three-pointer, no. Quickly, Georgia the other way, the athlete pass to Hartman, drives. Foul on Georgia. They'll call it on Stacy Ford. And that, Andy Landers isn't happy with this one. No, that was a break on Rutgers, really. I mean, there was a foul, there was a question about it. But as you can see, Georgia was moving down, and, and Rutgers wasn't filling the lane. So they weren't, they weren't clogged in that middle, and that would have been an easy, fast break for Rutgers. That's the first personal foul on Georgia in the game. It almost took them 10 minutes to commit it. Charles Kopp will sit down, and Rutgers makes the substitution in the backcourt. Vicki Green, 5'11", sophomore out of Trenton, enters the game. He was supposed to be the other way around. George is supposed to have four fouls. This is Rutgers gym move, you know? Green to Ust. Tough Georgia defense. They are all over oh, the Lady Knights. Here's Vicki Green. Finds Ust. Shot clock down to 10. Spinning, puts it up. No. Rebound knocked around underneath. Mitchelson gets it back. Here's Green to Ust. Wide open. Three. To stay with her shot. She's rushing her shot too much. She's getting a good shot. She's getting an open shot, but she's she's not following through. Georgia throws it away, looking for. She Teresa puts in Vicky Green. She needs some speed in there. You know, Green's the backcourt, and uh, uh, might be just a little too much for Cheryl to handle right now. That pass, last pass, was intended for Camille Lowe. She has been quiet so far in this game. She scored 27 against Maryland the other night. Hansen is open, goes inside Pike, and got position and score. Excellent, excellent post up by Pike. Receive the ball, drop step, square and shoot. Excellent. 17 15. It's a two point Georgia lead. Here is Jenkins. Here's low outside, left wing, goes inside Jenkins, being played by Mitchelson. A couple of bounces, puts it up off the glass. Mitch, Mitchelson's doing a good job against Tammy Jenkins. And, you know, Jenkins is a real good ball player. I think she's doing a good job in trying to contain her. Jenkins with seven points so far. Mitchelson underneath, lays it up. No, it came out of nowhere, got the rebound, and drew the foul. Great effort, great effort. Lou, on that last play where Mitchelson had the ball, it was an excellent pass. She should have stopped, gained her position, drop step, go right in, and she would probably would have made the basket and had a foul on her hands. We'll go to the line. Vicky averaging 14.7 points per game. Outstanding play. Hits the post. She'll get another. Try to draw Rutgers to within two. And the second, good also. And a timeout on the floor. Nine minutes, 23 seconds remaining, first half. Georgia 19, Rutgers 17. Hi, I'm Mayor Jeff Warbeck of Highland Park the host of Focus on Highland Park. Uh, from all of us here at TKR Cable and all of us within the borough of Highland Park, we wish you a happy and safe holiday season. Remember, 1991, we want to see you come back and see all in one piece. Remember, don't drink and drive. Thank you.
Despite all the warnings, despite all the warnings about high blood cholesterol, some people are oblivious to its dangers. Dangers like a heart attack. Have a doctor check your cholesterol level. And if it's high, learn what to do about it. Life has enough risks. Nine minutes, 23 seconds remaining in this first half. It's been a good one so far. Georgia leading Rutgers 19-17. The game summary so far, Rutgers eight turnovers. Tanya Hansen, surprisingly, no points so far in the ball game. That's significant. Georgia shooting 50% from the field, but the Hansen stat, significant. She had 24 points against Arkansas the other night. Well, it's not a, it's not a, a game tonight, maybe. I don't want to say it's not a game, but more or less that it's just like uh, Camille Lowe. Camille Lowe doesn't have any points on the board either, you know? Georgia has been tough underneath. There's Lowe's first attempt. It does not go. And Rucker is the other way. They've been packing it in underneath, and Hansen has been played very tough by Jenkins, unable to get the ball. Here's Pikett. Baseline jumper, no. Rebound, Johnson, tough. Keeps it alive, kicked out of bounds. It'll be a Rutgers ball. Well, it's more or less, if, if, if Georgia is containing Hansen, that's where Pikett and probably Johnson, us, need to alleviate that pressure and take over from there. Pike it, jumper, good. Wide open. We're tied at 19, this one saved by Lowe, good play. Set it up. Baseline jumper, look third by Carter. And Rutgers the other way in an opportunity to take the lead. I tell you what, Lou, Rutgers is doing a good job on the defensive boards. They're really keeping Georgia out. Georgia's great on the offensive boards, and, and Rutgers is really containing them at this point. Hanson wants to go into Pike. It does. Pike it, looking to take it to the hoop. Puts it up. No. Knocked away. Low saves. Georgia the other way. Hardman on the left wing. Jenkins, Hardman, wide open. Fires, no. Foul on Georgia. Good job. That was a good job by Vicky Green. Boxing out Andrew Schiller at that point. And this is what Rutgers has to do. Lou, if they want to get back into the they're in the game more, but if they want to get the, get the command and lead of this game, they have to, they cannot let Georgia fast break. They have to give Georgia one shot at the basket, and that's it. Tied at 19, Rutgers sends Caroline Derus into the game. The three-point specialist. Freshman out of Ghent, Belgium. Outstanding player there. Player of the year one season in Belgium. She brings a lot of experience with her in international play, even though she's only a freshman. So in the sense of the word, not a true freshman when you think about it. She, oh. Jump ball. Does not agree with that call. He thought Len Us might have committed an offensive foul. The basket, of course, does not count. Thrown away. Georgia picks it up. Pick on the Lady Bulldogs. Quickly up court. Camille Lowe. Hardman. Right wing. Lowe. Wide open. Nope. Now gets it back. As Green. Buck is in the 3 2 zone right now. Baseline knocked away by Hansen. Another jump ball. But Georgia will get it on the alternating possession. Lou, well, one thing that, that uh, Rutgers does not want Georgia to do is drive the baseline. Because once they drive the baseline, they are going to look to pass the ball to the high post girl who is rolling. Tanya Hansen, three blocks so far in the first half. Well, we mentioned she hasn't been scoring, but she sure is playing terrific defense. Definitely. Adrian Schuler inside they go. A spinner comes off the rim from Jenkins and Rutgers the other way. Here's Kopp. Kopp's back into the game, giving uh, Lynn us a little bit of a breather. Schuler steals and takes it out of bounds. 
Cheryl Cobb is going to be very careful, Lou, because Shula has her number right now. You know, she's Shula's looking to steal, to be all over Cobb, and Cobb's teammates are going to have to come back. Vicky Green and and uh, and also Darius are going to have to come up and help Cobb out because she's going to find she's going to have a lot of pressure on her. Hanson, what a move! Doesn't go. Quick burst to the bucket. She needed the glass on that play. That would have helped her out a lot. Cop knocks it away, out of bounds. Last touch of Rutgers. Georgia will throw it in. It's been a frantic first half. Both teams up and down the court. Here's Schuler. Camille Lowe. Outside, Jenkins, no. Rebound, tapped around, out of bounds. It'll be Rutgers' ball. I think at this point, what Rutgers needs to work on, as in Latanya Johnson, is if you're going to give her that shot, keep her outside. Box her out. Don't let her go in for a second shot. See what you get, Andrew Schultz is all over top. Beautiful pass into Deleuze. He cannot connect. Here is low. Top of the key, Schuler. Hanson doing a real good job down low on Lady Hartman there. Turn around, no, Green the rebound. Vicky Green, and a foul in the backcourt. Called on Vicky Jones. So a couple of Vickies mix it up there. And I tell you what, on that last play, Lou, uh, both the Tanya Johnson and Tanya Hanson did an excellent job defending against some excellent ball players down low. Unfortunately, Rutgers have, has missed several easy layups. Not using the glass, you know, they need to take their time and use the glass. And they can ill afford to do that against a team like Georgia. This will be a backcourt. No. The loose loses. Here comes Cop. Mitchelson forces it inside. Johnson puts it up. Wild. Knocked out of bounds. Georgia. Rutgers ball. See, so Mitchelson made a nice one-on-one -on -one move. She should just go for that shot because passing the ball with Latanya Johnson and he called for a three-point play in there. Here's Cop jumper. No. Rebound. Vicky Green. Jumper. Goal. Rutgers leads it 21-19. Here is Jenkins. Puts it up underneath and draws the foul. Latanya Johnson on the, the Rutgers foul. That's what... Well, Tanya Johnson did as well as she could do at that point. She came down, she went in the middle, and, you know, she gave her that shot. Of course, she fouled her on that. Right now, Lou, uh, Teresa has to be pleased. I mean, they're, they're stopping a very good Georgia team at this point. Uh, now they just need to do a better job offensively. That's what's hurting them. It's not their defense at this point. It's their offense. They're missing easy shots. They're getting the shots, and they're missing them. Tammy Jenkins at the line. First is no good. Much to the crowd's delight. She'll get another. Second is no good also. She misses both, but Hartman with the rebound. Lady Hardman sets up. No, off the front of the rim. Gets her own rebound. Draws the foul. That's hustle. Definitely. We saw her do that in the first half. Now she's back to do it again. They, they have to stop that. They they have to stop Lady Hartman and go in. Because that's where they're getting a lot of their points. Georgia has not had many free throw opportunities, but they haven't shot well either. One for five from the line in the first half. That's basically, they're, they're only shooting 67%. Uh, throughout the year, so they're not a very good foul shooting team. First is good. Lady Hartman, 5'10 junior out of Atlanta, averaging 13 points per ball game. Right now, Georgia has back their starting lineup in the game. A much quicker lineup than, than Rutgers has. Second, no good. And Rutgers the other way with a one-point lead, 
Mitchell's in. No. Tammy Jenkins, tough underneath. Six foot four senior. Georgia looks to set it up. You got Vicky Green all over Lady Hoffman outside. All over her. Jenkins goes inside nicely underneath, laid up and in on the baseline. Deborah Carter. Nice ball movement by the Lady Bulldogs. Definitely, this is what they do best. And Carter with a fine athletic play and a great save by Jenkins. Georgia the other way with a one-point lead. 22-21, four minutes remaining in the first half. Traveling is the call. That's a break for Rutgers. What, what Georgia's going to try to do, they're going to come down on their fast break offense. If they cannot get a shot off, they can go right into their motion offense. And a timeout on the floor. Three minutes, 56 seconds remaining, first half. Georgia, 22. Rutgers, 21. When it comes to telecommunications and information management, Bell Atlantic can help you out with most anything. He's in a little bit of trouble. He's going for a birdie. No, it's a squirrel. It's in the cup. For telecommunications, systems integration, financing, leasing, computer maintenance, and cellular services, go with the pros at Bell Atlantic. Give us a call. unintelligent phone system. Can I get customized features? No. That's a problem. Well, how about extra chip game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. Georgia leading Rutgers 22-21. This is an outstanding tournament for excellent teams. You have Georgia, of course, Rutgers, Maryland, and Arkansas. All teams ranked within the top 25 coming in. There's Teresa Grintz. A good move on that part uh, Lou was putting in uh, Vicky Green, number 22, is doing a real nice job. She's quick. She's one of the quickest kids on George, on uh, Rutgers' team. And uh, she's someone that can handle Hartman. We talked about Tanya Hanson. We just saw Jenkins all over Hanson. Here's Ost. Green puts it up. No foul on Georgia. Camille Lowe called on the blocking foul. What Rutgers has to do right now, Lou, is that, you know, Hanson hasn't been in the game, but she hasn't been posting up inside. She's been bringing herself outside the key. She needs to get inside the exact position that she was when she played in the Arkansas game. When she's inside, her teammates will find her, and that's what she needs to do. We get, if they get Hanson back in the game right now, I think that would be a real big plus for Rutgers. First is good. Vicky Green. 5'11 sophomore out of Trenton. Played at McCorriston High School. McCorriston Catholic. Fine player. Add spark off the bench for Teresa Grenz's club. Oh, definitely. No good. Rebound knocked around underneath. Mitchelson kept it alive, but Georgia will get it. We're tied at 22. I tell you what, we have DeRus out here. Teresa's looking for some three-point shooting from most some good solid outside shooting if we get that if she gets that from from DeRus then they can open up the middle for people like Mitchelson and Hanson a rifle shot put in by Adrian Schuler line drive and Georgia by a bucket 24-22 Rutgers the other way. Sita Mitchelson almost stolen by the Bulldogs. Put inside Hanson scores. First bucket of the game for Tanya Hanson. They broke that press very, very well. And Hanson was right in the key exactly where she had to be. We're tied at 24. 245 remaining first half. Adrian Schuler being played by us. Mitchelson's doing an excellent job on Tammy Jenkins. She's all over her. She's fighting to get on top. Off the rim, no rebound underneath Jenkins. Gets it back, puts it up, no rebound. Ford, it's blocked by Mitchelson. Jump ball over the Rutgers possession. The, the, the other teammates have to help out people like Hanson and Mitchelson inside. If they keep their big girls out, boy, they have to. 
uh, they, the others have to keep their players off the glass. Sheila Mitchelson has come off the bench and really played well underneath for Rutgers. <laughs> Lady Knights with another opportunity to take the lead. Musk loses. Foul on Georgia. They'll call it on Adrian Schuler reaching in. That's her second. Andy Landers, the Georgia head coach, again. He's not, out from the bench. He, yeah, he's not a happy camper at this point, though. Well, what's going to have to happen is that Vicky Green has to help out Lynn Us. As you can see, once once she picks up that ball, Us has to come out and help her out because they're all over you. They're all over you once you pick up your dribble. Mitchelton looks for help. Finds Hanson. Vicky Green. DeRoos back to Green. Puts it up short. Nice defensive point by Jenkins and Georgia the other way. For a hop, skip, and a jump by Hartman lays it in. What can you say about Lady Hartman? Uh, once she gets down, it, you have to stop her. She's been doing this all night. She loves the ball. She loves to go one on one, and she's been hurting Rutgers by doing that. Hartman with 11 points. Hanson pulls up and hits, and we're tied at 26. Minute 20 remaining. Here's a three-pointer by Lowe. Doesn't go. Hanson to us. What us needs to do, she needs to set up their offense. We need, she needs to go for a, a good shot right now. DeRoos. I'm surprised Hanson is so is is, is uh, on the high post over there. I would expect her to be in the low post area where she was. Uh, the previous uh, game being very effective. Wide open, doesn't go. Georgia the other way. 48 seconds remaining in the half. And quickly the Bulldogs come up court. What a brilliant pass to Hartman. She scores and is foul. This is this is the problem that Rutgers could have if they don't get down the fast break. George does a great job outlining the ball to the sideline. Their, their break is a sideline fast break. They pass up to Shula. Shula's gonna look ahead. Whoever's ahead of her, she's gonna pass it, of course, Lady Hartman on that one. And Georgia has regained the lead and an opportunity to go up by three. Lady Hardman will shoot. Try to connect on a three-point play. And her free throw is good. 14 points, three rebounds, one steal. Not a bad first half for Hardman. Here comes the pressure defense again, Lou. Carolyn DeRoos looks to set it up. 31 seconds remaining in the half. 18 on the shot clock. DeRoos to the cutting off. Wide open. Lays it in. Beautiful play. That's an excellent backdoor move by Lynn Us. A great read by Caroline DeRoos. 29-28. Wide open underneath. No offensive. Yes, an offensive foul is the call. Basket does not count. As a break for uh, Rutgers. Not that the call wasn't the right call, but they, they just scored. And, and uh, this is what George does best, come down, fast break, and score. Rutgers really needs to go in the locker room and, and, and talk about that. Rutgers has an opportunity to take the lead at halftime. Five seconds. Down to three, Ust loses, and she loses it out of bounds, and that will do it. First half has come to an end. A good one. The score at halftime, Georgia 29, Rutgers 28. When we return, we'll have some halftime activity and take a look at first half statistics as well. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Joe Viviani, and I'm proud to be president of Raritan Bay Medical Center's Old Bridge Auxiliary. Auxilians are an important part of life here at Old Bridge. Fourteen years ago, the Old Bridge Auxiliary worked to build a health care facility that would be there for us and our families. We knew then that we would need a responsive, caring health team that could grow and develop as our community and families grew. Through a variety of fundraising events and service projects, we're still building. Each and every day, we build a friendly and non-threatening environment. We build hope, we build care, we build lives. 
We build a sense of calm and trust in what can sometimes be a pretty scary place. At Raritan Bay Medical Center, All Bridge, the auxiliary is building the future of health care for our community today and for our children's community tomorrow. What we build best as a team. Just call 360-1000 today. That's 360-1000. Come on. We have a future to build. Welcome back to Rutgers University. We're at halftime of the championship game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. Your score at halftime, Georgia 29, Rutgers 20. Tanya Hansen has to get inside the key. That's where she's going to score her points, but she's been very effective on the defensive end. Hansen had four points all in the last four minutes of the first half. For Georgia, Hardman had a terrific first half. 14 points, three steals, seven rebounds. As we said earlier, Lou, if it's not Camille Lowe, it's going to be Lady Hartman. All right, here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. Second half ready to go. Georgia moves left to right on your screen in their away red uniforms. Turn around, Jenkins, no. Rebound, Hartman, who has been a menace to Rutgers all day. Underneath, it's a rebound. Rutgers, though, the other way. Uh, uh, Stacy Ford inside instead of uh, Here is Vicki Pikett, hands to Linust. Rutgers down by a point. They go in the corner. Back to Ust. Moves in the paint. Puts it up. No. Georgia with a three on nine. And they blow the layup. A scramble. on that play, but that's where Ruckus has to stop. They have to stop that fast break. Hanson turn around. No. Jumps off the rim. Richardson gets it back. Pike it to the hoop. Pumps it up. No. Rebound. Hanson puts it back up. No. no. Rutgers can't get it to fall. That sequence. And Georgia the other way. to settle down, play their game. Uh, what they're doing is they're, they're reacting. They're not, they're not running the offense school. They're, they're running the fast break. If they don't get a shot for the fast break, they're not running the offense to get that 34 shot. Defensively, I think they're doing a good job defensively against uh, uh, Georgia right now. 
uh, but probably uh, just trying to jump ahead and, and organize them. Georgia has been led, uh, as we said, by Lady Hartman. She has had a terrific game so far. Oh, this this is Lady Hartman's game. I mean, she's she's got the ball. She she uses the pump fake well. She drives the hoop very very well. And on the second shot, I mean, she's always in there for the rebound. She's just the she's the player from Georgia that's doing it today. These two teams got to this championship rather easily in the first round, to be quite honest. Georgia defeating Maryland 91-73. Arkansas never had a chance against Rutgers as the Lady Knights were all over them, 89-60. Just for a point of information, the consolation game was played prior to this championship, and Arkansas claims third place in the tournament with a victory over Maryland. Rutgers leads it by one, 30-29. Shot put up by Lowe. to the right wing, goes inside, Hanson loses out of bounds. Georgia will get it back. Just in that play right there, Tanya Hanson came down and posted up real well. And it would have been, yeah, she probably would have been in the position to uh, have a good shot at the basket. Three minutes gone by, second half. Here's Camille Lowe, being played by Pike. Goes inside Jenkins, who saved it somehow on the baseline. Excellent job defensively. I mean, they're all over. They're all over Georgia. I mean, this is a mad scramble. Pike and right up there. Lays it up there. What Rutgers is doing defensively is they're double teaming the ball. You see that's that ball. That scramble was created by Lindus originally when she came over to help out. Well, Stacy Ford got in position that time and scored. 32-31. Rutgers by a point. 16-30 remaining. Second half. Georgia in there. 1-2-2. Two, two. It'll come back to be more or less a 3-2 zone right here. Rutgers is getting good shots at the basket. Each like Reese has to complete that they're getting good shots. They're just not, they're just not making them. Georgia with another opportunity to regain the rebound as they will throw in. Number 16 in the nation. Only loss was to Stanford. No disgrace there. Stanford winning 82 79. Stanford also ranked within the top 10 in the nation. Right now, you can see Rutgers in a man to man defense. Lady Hartman is playing an all-America caliber team so far in this one. Oh, there's no question about it. She has been the dominant force so far for Georgia. Rutgers trailing now by one. Lynn Ust for three. And Georgia the other way. Jenkins long hit that hard and wide open to the hoop. Plays it up. Draw the foul. So Lady Hartman. Excellent, excellent fast break by Rutgers. And by, uh, excuse me, by uh, Georgia. They look for the alley on the sideline. They pass it right up. Uh, unfortunately, that's something that Rutgers can't afford right now, especially Lynn Ust getting a foul. Substitution goes out. Green is in for the Lady Knights. Georgia by two. And second in and out, way down underneath. It comes to the Bulldogs. And in, Stacey Ford. It's a basic fundamental play by Cena Richardson. She should have boxed out Stacey Ford from there. Now Rutgers finds itself down by four, 36-32. Georgia's, 
Georgia's largest lead. Wide open, Makita Green for three off the back of the rim and out. Earlier, Teresa said she was going to use Makita and Carolina to use for their outside shooting. Our teammates weren't down there. If there was an offensive rebound, they weren't in great position. But more importantly is that the, Ruckus really needs to work the ball around. They, they can't afford to come down and, and pop up a, a quick uh, shot. 39-32, seven-point game. Here is Pikett. See, this is what I'm surprised about. I'm surprised that, that Hanson at that point was outside. Green again doesn't go. Nikita Green has taken three. Three point shots, 0 for 3. At this point, Georgia could really take a really good game going. I'm sure Buckers doesn't want them at this point. They really, Buckers really needs to work the offense. Buckers 1 for 6 for 3 point line. Low goes to 4 on the baseline. Georgia, a second try at the basketball now. 
36, 12, 40 remaining. Second half. Hansen's outside right now. I'm really surprised about that. I thought she'd stay inside more. Turn around, Hansen. Yes. I'm really surprised about the, this, for this first, uh, this half, uh, the second half. We haven't seen Georgia press once. Outside, Makita Green. And Rutgers. Coach Grant's unhappy with the ball. It's a five point game, 43 38. But Tanya Johnson is overplaying right now, Stacey Ford. She has to be careful. Stacey can roll to the basket. They like to do that. Georgia likes to skip the pass. Go from spot up area to spot up area on a diagonal. 45 38, 7 point Georgia lead, 11 20 remaining. Hanson to cop. She'll come in for green. I'm really surprised at this point that George was not pressing with the lineup that they have right now, with the lineup that Rutgers has Today's the day you can decide what kind of life your kids and their kids will have. If we don't do something about global warming, global warming will surely do something about them. Before long, America's heartland might have to live with temperatures over 90 degrees for almost a third of each year. Chicago now has two weeks a year over 90 degrees. In just 60 years, it could expect two months each year. If the weather in Dallas could go over 100 degrees for two and a half months, imagine what could happen in Phoenix. If you think global warming is only about warmer temperatures, it's only the beginning. In our kids' lifetimes, drinking water could be a problem as salty ocean water backs into our rivers. 
America's heartland could have trouble growing the corn, wheat, and oats that we need for bread and cereal. Every man, woman, and child can help make a difference, and that includes you. The Sierra Club can show you how. Find out today. Your children, your grandchildren are counting on you. Kathy went up by a good nine points, and Rutgers is now trying to fight their way back. Look at Nancy back, and, and, and Rutgers is showing that out of this game right now. Uh, the way it's looking, this game might go down right to the wire. Both teams are playing well. Three times Rutgers has played in the Bell Atlantic Championship game. They've yet to win. They're looking to break the ice here. They get the rebound and fight it quick. Court. Rutgers is playing a real good man-to-man -man defense. Very good man-to-man -man defense. Cheryl Kopp angles right. Ooh. Foul is on Lady Hartman. George is playing excellent defense. Of course, uh, of course, on that one, when Vicki Pike went around that kick, uh, she got hit right there. But uh, uh, they're really pushing Hanson out of the key. Tim Jenkins is going out right now. He's really pushing uh, Hanson out of the key and really making it very tough for them to get the ball inside. And that's why we see, I think, Pike had come, you know, coming across the picks and, and uh, being such a factor today. Stolen by Georgia. Vicki Jones. Inside, Ford. Gets it back outside. Three second violation. Deborah Carter is not pleased with that call. The Rutgers has to be really careful with their passes right now because Georgia seems to be getting real aggressive and with number 21 in the game, Vicki Jones, she has quick, quick hands and she's going to go after that ball all the time. And she's playing against Carolyn DeRoos, who's not very fast. Cop underneath, finds Johnson wide open. And Rutgers is not getting any second shots. Uh, Georgia's pretty much... Uh, uh, taking command of, that, uh, of the defensive end. Here's a jumper blocked by Jackson underneath. Jump ball. It'll be George's possession. Pike it. Really went airborne underneath. Appears to be okay. She's really hustling in there today. She's really uh, giving an all-out effort. Eight, eight and a half remaining. <laughs> And a timeout, Georgia. And we will take one as well. Timeout on the floor. Eight minutes, 36 seconds remaining. Georgia 47, Rutgers 42. In the field of information management, Bell Atlantic takes an aggressive stance. Rosleyanas drops back and gives to Ambrosi. Big hole. They're making unbelievable advances. On the mobile phone track, they're reaching new heights. He's up. He's Financing and leasing course, Bell Atlantic's in top form. No hazard too tough for these pros. He's going for a birdie. No, it's a squirrel. It's in the cup. Serving over 13 million customers in telecommunications. Advantage, Bell Atlantic. This team is on their toes. Really using their hands. It's a goal. Going the distance to give you unsurpassed computer maintenance. It's an alley -oop. Eighty thousand four hundred employees ready to bend over backwards for you. Today, Bell Atlantic is definitely more than just talk. There's the scarlet knight you saw running around the trying to fire the crowd up here at Rutgers. Kathy, you made an interesting observation while we were away on the break that the, the crowd is kind of out of the game a little bit now. Uh, Georgia really took them out of it with that nine-point spurt earlier. They need to get back into it. Uh, I'm sure in a few minutes you're going to see Teresa put back in uh, Lynn Us, uh, who's going to be, uh, who can really spark them back up again. Georgia ball. Right now, Georgia's probably going to take their time and wear for a good shot. It's to their advantage that they do so. Jenkins that time, unable to connect. DeRue saves. 
a wild sequence. <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't a travel call on DeRus. Low for three, doesn't go. And Rutgers gets it back. Cop quickly to pike it to the hoop, spinning and twisting, and puts it up. No. Rebound. Johnson saves. Finds Cop wide open. Now to DeRus. To the hoop. Foul on Georgia. Cheryl, Cheryl Kopp wants to be careful right now, but even on that pass to Pikett, which is pre, uh, previous play, is that there was four Georgia players down there and only one uh, Rutgers player. And uh, it's not to Rutgers' advantage to go right in right now and try to get a quick basket with no uh, teammates down there to help. This is what will happen. Georgia will get the ball and go right down and score. This is a very low-scoring game. It is. Both teams averaging nearly 80 points per ball game. Ruck is averaging 80 and, and 90 for Georgia. Johnson has it taken away. And Georgia the other way. Up by five for Rutgers. If they score on this play, I'm going to think Teresa's going to want to take a timeout and adjust that lineup that she has in there right now. It's not a very quick lineup, and it's, it's, it's holding the back at this point. Rutgers has committed 17 turnovers in this game. Wide open on the baseline. Vicky Jones doesn't go. Hanson out there. Pikett. It's a three on two. Pikett slows it up. Now fires and hits. Oh, she had confidence in this shot tonight. Those are one of the, one of the shots where you don't want to shoot, but she makes it to say, great shot, Vicky. Team still puts it up and draws the foul. Georgia is so good defensively. They're doing so much pressure, and they're doing the right thing right now. They're putting pressure on Pike. Once Pike gets the ball, they're double teaming, they're, and they're, they're taking Hanson out of the game. I mean, that was their, that's their game plan, and, and uh, they've done a real good job of it. Carolyn Darus comes out of the game. Lynn Ust is back in. Four fouls now on Vicki Jones for Georgia. Tanya Johnson puts it up. Pike it! Yeah. Hanson, turn around. Yes! Georgia is not taking the timeout. 
Four minutes, 42 seconds remaining. Andy Landers on the sideline talking it over with one of his players, 4.42, 50.49 the score. I think if I was Andy right now, I'd call a timeout and regroup my uh, my troops right here, because right now Rutgers has momentum. Two, 71% from the free throw line. One of the Lady Knights' best free throw shooters. Her first is on the way. Good. We'll get another. Second on the way. Johnson at the line, 6'4 junior out of Patterson, New Jersey. First is good. With three minutes to go in this game, the rest of this game is a game of endurance, too. If Georgia starts pressing, uh, you can see Ruckus players are, are a little tired. Well, they're both a little tired, but uh, the next three minutes are going to be really uh, a test for endurance. Second, good.
That's an excellent effort by Lynn Huss. Unfortunately, Hartley came up with the ball. And she will go to the line. There's an opportunity to tie the game up. to pike it. Oh. Beautiful. Look away to Johnson. something like that, but she was going against a very a much taller Camille Lowe. Hanson to cop, fakes the jumper, drives to the hoops. the season, whichever the sport, TKR's Game of the Week brings you the best in local high school and college sports action. Whether it's football, baseball, basketball, or soccer, Game of the Week has the game for you. Every Thursday through Sunday at 9 p.m. only on TKR's Channel 6. Two pairs of hands. That's all it takes. You don't even have to smoke it. In the eyes of the law, just passing a drug can be distribution. So if you pass it, you'll have to pay a minimum fine of $750, give 100 hours to community service, and give up your driver's license for at least six months. But you won't need your license if they send you to jail. Draws the foul. Vicky Pikey 
careful right now because Lady is hot. And the thing is that she wants that ball. She wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. Pike's doing a good job on her, but just that last drop step where Pike went right in her lane and uh, caused the foul. But they're going to go to Lady. They're going to go to her. She's hot. They'll, they'll, go, they'll go to her throughout the remaining uh, a few moments. Stay with us. Rutgers is great. Just ask anybody. It's exciting. I love it. Oh, the campus is beautiful. I think it's outstanding. The education you get here is exceptional. The faculty is great. A Rutgers degree is definitely going to mean a lot once I graduate. I really like Rutgers. I'm having a great time here. It's the best experience I've ever had. Four on two great. And what is the major factor of production whose price we're very familiar with? I would definitely recommend Rutgers to anybody who wants a good education. Why would you want to go anywhere else? I would give Rutgers University the highest recommendation I could think of. That's because it is. Rutgers has just defeated sixth-ranked Georgia by the score of 58-57. What a wild finish, Kathy. It happened so quickly. It did. It, it really it really happened real quick. I, 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 I was surprised that Georgia didn't make an adjustment with three minutes to go in the game, uh, but they didn't, and, and Rutgers really played a very, very solid uh, uh, a solid finish. Uh, Cheryl Cobb came in and did a super, super job, didn't she? Yes, she did. You know, Rutgers